to my channel. My name is Laura, and today is um, pre-recording Wednesday, Top 5 Wednesday. Uh, this is originally by Ginger by Ginger Reads Laney. I am doing the topic this week because the topic is um, the last five books you added to your wish list. And I have, uh, keep, I keep track of all my books on Goodreads, and I have a folder, and my to-be-read is total, okay, cringe now, <laughs> my total is 5,156 books. So my 5,156 book is <laughs> The Ringmaster's Wife, and I'll put the picture here. Um, it is by Christy Cambron, and it is a historical fiction book. Um, it takes place in the 1920s. Um, it was when a woman had a lot of money and somehow she came on hard times and her father sold her horse to the Ringling Brothers, and which is the circus, and she goes to the circus with and follows her horse to the circus. So it's a really interesting book. It's a circus book. The very interesting thing is on Goodreads, I can sort my books by first added and last added. So my second book in my number two book in my Goodreads is Water for Elephants, which is also about the circus, which I haven't finished. I have it on my Kindle and I never finished that book. I watched the movie, uh, but I never finished the book. I don't like reading on my Kindle. So uh, yeah, one day I'm going to have to read my first and second book. So <laughs> that's funny. My next book is Read 5155 on my Goodreads, and it is called There Will Be Stars, and I'll put the picture here. It is by Billy Coffey, and this one is a strange book about a man who is an alcoholic, and he has twin sons. That sold me right away. I like to read multiples. So he has twin sons, and one day he's driving, and they get in some kind of accident, and the accident happens, and he seems to relive his life again. So he, um, it's very strange. He goes into another dimension or something, and uh, there are six other people trapped in this new world. And I thought it was really interesting, and somehow his uh, world repeats. So it's like the Groundhog Day, if you ever watched that movie. So it's kind of like that, and I thought it was kind of interesting, so I added that to my TBR. Coming in at 5154 on my list is Claiming Noah by Amanda... Or leap. I don't know if I said her name right. I'll put the picture of the book here. Um, it is about a family who um, struggled with infertility, which I did. So, um, yeah, I'm going to relate to this story. <laughs> um, so this woman, she uh, can't have children, so she goes for IVF. And um, somehow she gets pregnant. And she donates the rest of her eggs to another family. And the other family um, becomes pregnant or whatever. And then um, something happens that the, she has the child. She delivers the baby. And somehow the baby gets stolen or something. The one that she took she had a really hard time having, she gets stolen. I'm not um, telling you any spoilers. That's exactly what I just read off of Goodreads. And I thought it was really interesting uh, to read this story. So I added it to my TBR. Coming in at 5153 is a book that I got from NetGalley, and I will be reading it soon because I was approved to read this. And it is also by an author that I read already. Uh, the author's name is Bet Lee Crosby, and I really liked her um, sidewalk book. So her new book is being released soon, or has been released, and I was approved on NetGalley to read it. So um, I will be reading this shortly, and the name of the book is called The Regrets of Cypress Stodd. And I'll put the picture here. Um, this one is about two families on a farm. Um, and one loses his family. And the other one... I can't even remember what I just read. It takes place in West Virginia. 
Um, and one loses his family, and the other one, they have a big fight. Like, they have a fight against each other. So there's two men fighting. And I don't really want to know much more, except, um, yeah, there's a big fight. Uh, two neighbors fighting against each other. One's going to lose a farm. One's going to lose something else, his family or something or other. And I got this from Neck Alley, so I have to read it um, very soon. Uh, so, um, yeah, so that's that one. <laughs> And my last book that I just put on my uh, wish list is 5152, and that book is Sia by Josh Grayson. I'll put the picture here, and this one is about memory loss. This one, this 17-year-old girl uh, finds herself on a park bench, and she wakes up, and she doesn't know who she is. And she um, comes from a very rich family. Um, and she discovers that her life is like a lie and she's a bully and in the past, but she still has no memory of it. Um, so I thought this was pretty interesting and yes, I do own this one. This one is on my Kindle. So, um, I think it was probably on sale uh, or free. Um, I, I usually mark it if it's free. I have a free folder, so I get a lot of uh, Amazon free books. And I usually mark it if it's free. Uh, but I think I paid for this one uh, probably either a dollar or a dollar ninety nine. And it's about memory loss, so I had to have it. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. This was very interesting and something different. Um, I might do some of these videos um, again if you like this. Um, I thought it was pretty interesting. Um, and I like to go back and see and try to read my 1, 2, and 3, 4, and 5 books. So that would be pretty interesting if I ever get those off my TBR. So anyway, thank you for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye!